Awesome. Now that you guys are getting the hang of this, let's look at the more complicated movement called crabbing. That's how drummers in a drum line move left and right, okay? It is, there's different schools of thought, there's different philosophies on doing it. Um, here, uh, where I teach, we do a toe crossover, right? So the trailing leg, right? We're gonna start going left first. The trailing leg, the heel is gonna cross over the toe, right? So some places you're like this, depends on what your instructor wants you to do. But just to learn the idea and the concept of it, we're gonna do heel over toe, okay? Also, really important with this, just like backing up, right? Your weight on the balls of your feet, you're gonna lift up and push just like you do everywhere else, whether it's going forward or going backwards. Now, interestingly, and again, there's different concepts of, concepts of doing this. I like having the arch of your foot on the line. Reason being is because your weight's pushed a little bit forward on the balls of your feet, it centers your body over the line. Okay? Your instructors at your school may have a different uh, way that they want you to do this, which is totally okay. For this video though, that is what we are gonna do. We're gonna have arches on the line. And what'll happen is, is if you get look closely, when they take their first steps, when they step off the left and push with the right, their left foot drops back a little bit. So that way as they come across, their center of the body stays over the line, okay? And the left foot goes underneath and over like that. So, we're gonna have them take their first steps. As you notice, we've had them add sticks. The reason why is when they go to their set position, it's gonna help to make sure their body's not moving back and forth and around like this. The biggest component of this is keeping your body locked in so that you can move across the field without having your drum move back and forth. So for this example, they're gonna have their sticks in their hands so that when you're at home and you're practicing this and you can use a mirror and watch yourself, make sure your hands aren't going back and forth, okay? So let's go ahead and get set. They're going to take their first step. We're gonna to go to the left first because this is the easier step off than the right. The right step off is a little bit more complicated. So let's start with the easy one and we'll build up to it. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna take their first step and they're gonna lift and push and drop their left foot back ever so slightly. Okay, let's watch that. Let's see what that looks like. And just one step, and one, two, one step, lift and push and go. Cool, let's do that again. And one, two, lift, step, and boom. Cool. And let's do that one more time. And one, two, one, two, ready, go. go. Cool. Does that make sense? You can see how their foot's drop back ever so slightly, right? They're reaching out, the nice eight to five stride. They're nice, they're strong, and they're confident. Cool. Let's go ahead and get set again. Now, let's try to take two steps, right? So they're gonna push, cross, and stop. They're gonna stop in this position, okay? It is very important that you keep your feet straight, all right? If you have your feet turned out in a comfortable, relaxed position, you cannot get your body across, right? The concept of, of crabbing, you are reaching with the ball of your foot as you go across, right? And bringing your foot down. And you reach with the ball of your foot and come down. If you're out, you cannot take as big a step. It closes off the gap between your legs so that you cannot move as far as you need to move, all right? So let's watch them take two steps. Straight feet, push, push, and stop, okay? Two steps. Right? Obviously, you can see these guys have been doing this for a while, and it's still not easy, right? You still have to have a lot of body control when you're doing this, right? If you get a little wobbly, that's okay. The key is keeping your chin up, keeping your body upright, and keeping your eyes up. I can't tell you how important it is in all this movement that we do that you have to keep your eyes up. If you keep your eyes up, you'll be able to balance yourself more. So let's watch that again. One, two, two, six, there we go. Push, push. Awesome, good job. Cool, relax. Now that we've done that, 
legs to take their four steps like we've been doing and come to a halted position, okay? When you come to the halted position, right, your right foot's gonna come down and you're gonna swing your left leg around, but you don't wanna swing it around. You just wanna come in, boom, boom. So we come in from the back, okay? Come in from behind and you're gonna stop. Let's see what that looks like. Here we go, and boom, two, three, four, three. Cool. Let's watch that again from where you guys are. Or are we set? We set. Let's watch that again. And one, two, one, two, ready, go. Boom, 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 boom. Nice, strong, confident. Everyone. Now, comes a more complicated one. And that is stepping off and moving to the right. Different programs have different ways that they would like you to do it. Uh, the way that we're gonna to show to you today is we're gonna do a prep step. The prep step is on count four, we're counting it off, or count eight. One, two, one, two, three, four. You're gonna step back ever so slightly with your right foot to get ready to move in that direction, right? So that way you're not stepping off and going, whoa, and reaching around like that. Right? So it's going to be one, two, one, two, three, boom, step. Okay? A lot of times when we are doing basics, they will say prep step. Uh, we won't be doing that today, but that's just a little thing that they can do sometimes to help them mentally think about having to take that prep step back before stepping off. So let's do one step to the right, okay? And we'll stop right there. And they're going to stop cross-legged because we're going to reach and step off to the right. Look out for that prep step on the last count right before they step off. And get set. And one, two, one, two, ready, set. Cool. Let's reset and let's do that again. Uh, let's not exaggerate. That was awesome exaggerating it. Let's not exaggerate it. That time they exaggerated that step. So this time we're not going to do it as exaggerated, right? So for here, right, it's just going to be a slight back a little bit, right? You want to bring your toe of the ball of your foot to the line so that you can start crossing over, right? While they exaggerated so you can see that prep step, which was awesome, and what I wanted them to do, right, in a real life situation, as you get used to and more comfortable, so you don't want to step this far back, right? It's just slight, just a little bit, all, shouldn't even be noticeable, right? Just a little step back. So let's try that again. One, two, one step, here we go. And let's do that one more time. Just one step. And one, two, one, two, ready, set, go. Awesome. Noah obviously wants to take more steps, so let's take more steps. Let's do two steps. Two steps. Okay, so we're gonna go back, we're gonna do two steps, right? And the same philosophies as they have been doing with everything else, they are pushing with their opposite foot, right? So if they are moving left, they're pushing with their right foot and then pushing with the left and transferring that weight or vice versa, pushing, pushing, and that's what gets their body to go is that pushing, not the reaching out with your foot. Make sure as you're doing all these moves, you're pushing yourself, your whole body, from the top of your head all the way down through your feet. Okay, so let's take two steps. And one, two, two steps, ready, go. One, boom. Nice, strong, and confident. Let's do that one more time. And one, two, one, two, up and go, boom. Awesome. So now let's take a few more steps like we we're doing the other time. Go back. The, the cool part about crabbing to the right is that when you get to stop, you just bring your foot in, right? There's nothing crazy about having to go around or anything like that. You just come in and you stop. So let's see what that looks like. And Ready, go. One, two, three, four. Awesome. Let's, do, let's check that out one more time. Watch their feet. Watch them closing up. Watch the prep step. All the little details matter. Notice how they're carrying themselves. They're keeping themselves lifted. They're keeping their chest up, their chin up, right? They're keeping their eyes up. They're looking good as they do it. And one, two, one, two, here we go. One, two, three, four, boom. Awesome. Great job, guys. Great job. And that's how you crab left and right.